So today we're gonna see about the SMD boards and its components. Okay. So let me get started with uh, uh, multimeter. Okay. Put your multimeter on uh, continuity mode. So whenever you are getting medical electronics SMD boards like this, I'm for example, is this this is a, a Philips uh, main board. Uh, so what you need to do is first step is uh, you should make sure where the ground is i mean uh, the ground is properly connected to the common pins like this so let me check so you can the concept is every uh, single components will be connected uh, i mean that uh, negative points will be connected to the ground uh, some in some cases what will happen is uh, there will be no common pins for the negative lines but uh, there will be a separation of that okay so this video this is a common common uh, negative side or ground side so we can check it easily uh, maybe tomorrow maybe uh, day after tomorrow I will share you another board uh, like uh, which is which doesn't have any uh, common ground okay so let's get started with the capacitor so this is the ca tantalum capacitor like that previous video i have told uh, that previous uh, that tantalum capacitors or uh, how it looks like okay so this is a ca uh, tantalum capacitors and uh, you can see the normal capacitors over here like it will be mentioned as c and th these are the common capacitors okay and uh, you i mean sometimes you may have a confusion uh, for a fuse and the capacitor so both are uh, both are look same but similarly look same but you have to identify uh, the thing uh, the difference between the capacitor and the fuse okay this is a fuse you can see sometimes uh, this board this board uh, they doesn't marked any uh, component identification but uh, we can we have some uh, voltage points over here so as you can see g and d for ground you can see see i'm checking ground okay so uh, first step you need to do is uh, take your uh, red lead into your left hand and uh, black uh, black probe in your right hand okay so this only uh, this concept will only work in uh, SMD uh, SMD repairs. Okay, so I am putting the red lead into the common ground. Okay, and I will check. I mean, uh, here this uh, this board doesn't have any problem, but I will uh, just to tell you that uh, how it looks like. Uh, I'm uh, that is why I'm, I'm I'm telling I'm taking this video. Okay, so let's start with uh, the capacitor. Okay, so this is a capacitor. This capacitors uh, will be connected one end to the ground and another one to the positive line. Okay, so you can easily check like this. See, zero point seven four four, which is good. Okay, so we sh uh, if you are getting some problem. Okay, uh, just imagine if you are getting some problem with this SMD. Don't uh, go with uh, the component checking and those things first of all uh, because sometimes there will be a software issue. You can uh, boot up with the software; it it will uh, it will work. Uh, now, now if you have uh, some problem with hardware section, okay. So if you have any uh, problem with hardware section, what are the things you have to do? Is you you can you can check randomly. Like uh, first thing first, you have to. 
Oh, check the capacitors. Uh, mainly, what what I'm always doing is uh, checking the capacitor uh, because uh, capacitors make some some shot uh, uh, between the circuits and uh, you know uh, going for the fuses and going for the zero ohm resistors and going for the uh, upper end uh, resistors and then only I will I move the the comparator or uh, transistor or uh, you know IC microcontroller some something like that. Okay, so now uh, I'll, I'll go with uh, the capacitor checking. I mean, I mean, I'll go with the random checking. So this is the positive line, as you can see, 0 0.556. That is good. This is a negative section, absolutely. So it is not having any, any issue. And I'm checking it randomly. So I don't have a shot here. I don't have a shot here. I don't have a shot here so this is how you check the smd boards uh, if you have some uh, multiple um, uh, multiple grounds uh, in the same board you can you, you have to do some like uh, you know you can you have to change the red probe into that uh, uh, ground pin and check the uh, similarities between the components okay but here uh, ground pins are same so i i can uh, i don't have to worry about it and uh, you know uh, we can proceed further so here you can see zero okay this is a resistor zero ohm resistor so what it will do is just uh, it it is it is working like a fuse only so you can see zero it will, it will give you the buzzer sound and these are the fuses so you have to uh, you have to know about the fuses differences between the fuses and the resistors r for resistor and this one is for fuse okay and they will mention this fb okay here fb you can i mean i don't think uh, yeah you can see fb and this one is resistor okay and the most thing is ground pins will not connect it to any fuse uh, for example i'm putting putting the ground pin uh, here and i'm i'm, I'm touching the probe uh, in fuses you know it will not give any short sound or buzzer sound if it is if it is having any short or um, something else uh, you can easily identify that uh, this thing will be shorted and give you the buzzer sound and not only for this uh, inductor also can do the same thing inductor also uh, doesn't connect it to any ground i mean uh, i have seen a lot of boards uh, but uh, i didn't see any uh, any inductor connecting to the ground pins but but i'm i'm telling you uh, honestly that uh, inductor pins doesn't connect it to the ground pin okay so just remember that and we will move with the capacitor oh this is a normal capacitor you can see cr dimension and uh, it's looking good yes it is good and okay uh, let me talk about the inductor so this is the inductor okay so inductor is giving the buzzer sound but it is not uh, use uh, i mean uh, working like a fuse it is uh, giving the uh, i mean uh, i mean boost the current uh, boost the current flow of the circuit okay so you can see the short sound here and here but if i touch the ground pin and touch the inductor it won't give you the buzzer sound sometimes if it is make any sound you can you can assume that there there's a issue with the board uh, some short, short circuit in, inside the board okay so remember that and uh, there's a transistor over here and you can see the transistor transistor is good okay so you can easily check like this so no problem and uh, and don't go for IC first of all because there will be a lot of uh, chances uh, of uh, some you know uh, sometimes you can see the visual inspection I mean uh, the the breakage or something in by by your visual I mean you can see by visual inspection itself and uh, here I can't see some I mean obvious things but see these are the fuses 
remember uh, you have to check every each and every fuses it it must be done by uh, you because uh, you know sometimes fuse will be blown and uh, you um, uh, you will not see those things and uh, you know uh, that makes different and uh, another thing what i'm what i have to tell like uh, so these are the microcontrollers and uh, you can you know uh, do the software loaded things everything stores here and uh, these are those uh, gpu chip and these are the ICs and this is a microcontroller uh, so this is a fuse and this is a capacitor transistor capacitor and resistors resistors you can uh, resistor i will i will make separate video about the identification of the resistor but here resistor is good so this board is, doesn't have any complaint just to make sure that uh, you know about the basics of smd like uh, how to check the smd components and how to uh, go for uh, initial inspection so that is why I, I made this video so hope you like this video and we'll do something else in the next video see you soon